what soft skills are needed, Shashank, in the analytics space? Honestly, John, I'm glad you asked that. That uh, It's a question that's not asked enough. Um, and I think it's because soft skills, w- one, soft skills, I, you know, as long as you're not a serial killer, no one cares about your soft skills for an entry level <laughs> job in, in the technical fields. Um, okay. So I went to Emory, which is a, a heavy business school. Like a lot of my friends are uh, uh, B school people. Um, you know, for them, soft skills are very important. That's, you know, it, and also the funny thing is it also like, created a very high bar for what I expect out of people from a like soft skills interviewing perspective, which unfortunately the um, engineering world has disappointed me with. (laughs) Um, But as far as what soft skills do you need? um, So you can get into a company basically purely on your technical skills uh, at an entry level. If you want to advance your career, um, then you're going to need the soft skills. So one of the big ones is requirements gathering, um, which is the skill of going into uh, or, or, hearing a problem from someone, right? right. And uh, being able to d- deep dive into what are the actual requirements we need, we have to have in order to solve this problem. Uh, that's a really big one. Mm-hmm. Um, one that is needed for basically any senior position in any company is project management. Um, because you as a data analyst are going to have to have engineers and data scientists do stuff for you as well. Um, and making sure that they actually get that stuff done in a timely manner is a very important skill to have. So project mm-hmm. management, project management is um, another really big one. Um, presentation skills uh, are right. a big one as well. Prioritization, um, and, and prioritization is a very interesting one, right? Because you're going to have to know how to prioritize tasks depending on who gave them to you. Uh, right. I've been in more than one situation where I've been given multiple tasks and only one of them could get done in a day. Right. Um, but one was given by a director and one was given by you know someone who wasn't a director. Um, and even though it might have made more, it might have made more business sense to do the task a non-director gave me. <laughs> uh, it gave me a lot more visibility in the company if I did what the director asked me to do. Right. Um, and that's kind of playing politics. It, it you know, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. up to you how much you want to do that personally. Um, if you want to advance past a certain level, you uh, past a senior level, you do have to play politics. Um, that's why they call senior analysts, senior engineers. These are what you call terminal positions. Um, i.e. they're the position that someone could stay at for 10 years and no one would blink an eye. They'd be like, oh yeah, that guy, you know, he's been an analyst for 10 years, a senior analyst for 10 years. Now, if you were an entry-level analyst for 10 years, you would have been fired eight years ago. But, you know, because right. um, there are certain positions you have to advance. Otherwise, people are like, what is this person doing? Um, and so if you want to advance past that terminal position, right, then you're going to, th- these soft skills become like extremely important. All right, so you mentioned that the soft skill uh bar that you have to clear for an entry-level data analyst role is pretty low. Uh, you're saying that it's basically non-existent, but then once you do get that entry-level data analyst role to become more senior, there are skills like requirements gathering, project management, presentation skills, and prioritization that are all critical to becoming a senior data analyst. And then you described a senior data analyst position as potentially being terminal. You could be stuck there for a decade, but you, Shashank, you transition from being a data analyst two years ago to a role at Nordstrom where you got to do a lot of data science work. And then most recently, you became a data engineer for a digital sports company called Fanatics. So what is the difference between these roles, data analyst, data scientist, data engineer? And it seems like there is a reasonably common progression from analyst, scientist to engineer. So um, how did you make that transition? Why is that transition so common? And what tips do you have for listeners to get out of a terminal senior data analyst position into one of those other kinds of roles? Well, it's, an, it's a very interesting question. Uh, one more soft skill I would add. Um, if you're entry-level, willingness to learn, uh, you need to be able to show that very willingly. Um, right. I feel like I need to add that in there because the, the thing is, when, when you leave college, right, you, you, you've you spent the last, what, 16 years, uh, I'm assuming a bachelor's degree, you spent the last 16 years being schooled, right? Uh, and you would hope you come out of that knowing a bunch of stuff and like being able to like, you know, show your knowledge. That's not what people are looking for from entry level candidates. They're looking that you are willing to learn because it turns out those last 16 years aren't actually that useful. Um, your, your learning starts today. Um, so one more soft skill I'd add there. 